So EJ, um, President Biden's poor numbers on the handling of the economy, are they attributable to facts or poor messaging on the part of the, of the campaign and or the administration? Well, I think some there is a, a messaging problem. They haven't sold it as well as they could. The grocery prices, as you kept saying, uh, is part of the cause, cause of this dyspepsia. Really nice to see the word dyspepsia <laughs> on this show. Um, you know, it, George it Will's not here, so I figured I'd bring some some interesting words it, to the program. It, it, <laughs> it's a it's an accurate word too, I think, for this. You know, and this is very frustrating for the Biden people and for Democrats. When Ronald Reagan ran for re-election in 1984, saying it was morning America in America, unemployment was at seven percent, and inflation was around four percent. With Joe Biden, he's running for re-election. Inflation and unemployment are both below four percent. This is a great economy, um, and as you said, the question is. Why? I think the inflation spike of 2022 had a real impact on people. That's why they're still uh, talking about grocery prices. I think in a weird way, Donald Trump gets off the hook uh, because people kind of white out the uh, pandemic, even though the pandemic was a big cause of the price spike because of the supply chain messing up because everything was shut down. Um, it, it hurts Biden, but it actually helps Trump. But there is some evidence that the economic good news is starting to have an effect. There is a very interesting poll from uh, Suffolk, USA Today, which showed that in uh, July, only 9% of Americans uh, said they thought the economy was in recovery. That's up to 33%. There's a big, big increase among moderates who will be very important in the election, a big increase among seniors, probably they have the 401ks more than anyone else benefiting from the stock market, and a huge jump among Democrats, which is the first step uh, that Biden needs to take in order to consolidate his strength. And I think the other thing that started to happen is real wages. Uh, that is, wages, after you take into account inflation, have been going up now for quite a while. And what's really interesting is this really is a bottom-up recovery. The biggest wage increases are in the bottom 40% of the income structure. Now, will that all uh, make everything wonderful for Biden? No, he's going to have a struggle. But I think there is some evidence that the good news is starting to penetrate, even if those grocery prices will be troublesome probably for the whole campaign.